start bench cut. We got three start bench cuts in this video, starting with an NFL one. The three franchise running backs that didn't get their extension, Saquon Barkley, Josh Jacobs, Tony Pollard. We're going to debate it. And a, and a couple other ones, a couple fun ones here, a couple silly ones in oh, a second. Oh, okay. You guys like to be silly sometimes, right? I love to be silly. YouTube, how's it going? The go to is back. That was weird that I just said that now. Uh, we got all kinds of content. We got a playlist full of these start bench cuts. Check them out. Check them out. And, uh, yeah, NFL season right around the corner, so join us. Can't wait. Check out our YouTube shorts. Check out our sponsors. Code GOAT. Links pinned in the comment section. Come along for the ride, guys. Come along. Come along, back to it. Start bench cut for the franchise tag running backs that did not get extensions. Well, how? What do you? Yeah, I can do this. Tough. I can do this right now. I believe in you. Easily. Who are you starting? I'm starting Josh Jacobs. You starting Josh? Junior Irish Smith. Yeah, all the way. Okay. Um, and I'm benching Tony Pollard. I think. You're I gonna, think you're gonna cut Saquon's. I'm cutting Saquon just because the injuries and uh, the amount of injuries because. All these guys have been banged up. Obviously, it's a physical position. But Saquon's had some uh, pretty serious injuries, and it seems like it's on like an every other year type of basis where something kind of major happens to him. And uh, all I keep, all I think about is just that ankle. You remember that picture of that ankle, how big it was? Yeah. That was, that was ugly. So ugly. But I, other than that, if, if you take the injuries out of it, I think that I would probably bench Saquon just because – I think those two guys are more proven than the Tony Pollard, but I kind of like Tony Pollard's style. He matches the modern-day uh, kind of running back. I like it. Pete! This is tough. This is, like, a really tough one. I feel like they're all – it's funny. They're all uh, franchise tagged, and they're none of them got a deal. They're all, like, they're all very even. I don't mm-hmm. know. I think I'm going to go with – ooh. I think I'm going to go with Jacobs as well, actually. It's just tough. I think it's just the injuries, really. I'm afraid of the injuries with these other guys, ACL injuries. Um, probably going to go bench Saquon and cut Pollard. Um, I just want to see Pollard prove it as an every down back um, first before I jump on the bandwagon. I like watching him play. He's explosive, makes a lot of good plays. But I just got to see it. I want. I want to see it with him getting – Majority of the carries, you know, not splitting 50-50 with Zeke. Uh, I am actually in the same exact boat. I'm going to go Josh. It's close. All very good. I'm going to go Josh Jacobs. I think he's still getting better. Um, monster season last year. Extremely physical. Felt like he was faster last year, too. I don't know. But uh, I'll go Jacobs. Yeah, it's still very young. I mean, all these guys are kind of young. And I'll go Barkley, Bench, Cut, Pollard. I do like Pollard. You know, he might have a... I think Junior said it was is kind of more today's style. You know, catch the ball pretty well too, run some routes. I mean, all these guys can do it, but uh, yeah, I think the other guys are a little more proven as every down backs, like Pete said. So I like Jacob start, Barkley bench, Pollard cut. Is Pollard gonna be ready week one? It's a good uh, question. No. I don't think so. I feel like those guys, like they always say, ACLs are like quicker recovery nowadays, like the surgery and the rehab, but like they're never like right. Right away, it takes. It's like, always scary it when takes, they come back. Yeah, it takes so long for them to actually get to back to like, hundred percent. Unless you're Adrian Peterson. Yeah, unless you're a freak. <laughs> that was wild. Yeah. And he played with a hernia. Yeah, it's wild. That guy's nuts. Um, they don't make him like they used to. They don't make him like they used to, folks. We got uh, all of us on Jacobs. Okay, yeah. Who would have thought? I was thinking about that question last year. That's a great point, Pete. Man. I think it would have been even harder last year because Barkley was coming off being yeah, injured. Bar- Jacobs yeah. was, like, pretty pretty good, but not, like, like, great. But he didn't have the and season. He Pollard, yeah, there was a little bit more of a question. Yeah, tough. All right. Uh, this next one actually is an answer not one. An- Anthony Kramer, answer not idea. Mm. French toast, pancakes, waffles. All all just delicious. And I, th- I think he went in that order, start, bench, cut. Wait, Wait in what order of the picture? Yeah, that's they, he's, he's he's starting French toast. I love French yeah. toast is great. Uh, but I'm gonna. If I'm not mistaken. I was always a pancake fan. I always just loved pancakes. I'm gonna start pancakes, and I'm gonna bench French toast, and I'm gonna cut waffles. Unfortunately, but don't. I mean, they're all, they're all really good. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. I, breakfast is the best meal 
Oh yeah, of the day. Of, uh, of the day. By I far. could I could eat breakfast food for every meal. I, I, I could can't too. do the same for lunch or no, dinner. I could I could eat breakfast for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and all in one day. I could eat it forever. Yeah, for the rest of my life, and I'd be okay. <laughs> um, the only knock on breakfast food is that it makes you smell like it after you eat it. That's Say true. If you go somewhere to you eat go breakfast, to, yeah, you go to a breakfast place. You just reek like breakfast the rest of the day. <laughs> I'm not mad about that because if I want an extra. I'm going to smell the hash brown still on me. It's going to be nice. Yeah, but then you're going to get hungry. You're going to want it. You're then I'm going to go back, back and get it. And you're going to stink even more. Take me through a day of, like, breakfast. Take me through a day of meals of breakfast here. Of what I would do? Yeah, what would you do? Oh, I would start the – I've had the same breakfast every morning for, like, the last five years. Every single morning. Uh, I've had five eggs, and I fry them. And then I Ooh. do uh, I do a quarter cup of oatmeal every morning. That's my breakfast every single morning and a cup of coffee. That's how I would start the day. And then say we're getting into lunchtime, I'd probably probably go towards uh, something a little heavy here because I know I need the fuel for the day. That's when I'd lean on one of these three here mm. to really get me going, that little sugar spike, that carb spike. And then I'd probably end the day with a nice like breakfast sandwich, I think is a nice, nice. classy way to end the day. Well, an egg taco to finish, finish the day. That might be nice and if I'm feeling heavy. Maybe the pancakes or whatever really fill me up. That'd be a good way to end so it. There's so many options. Are you saying you're starting pancakes? No, I'm starting waffles. Oh. I'm starting waffles. This is a wild card here. But I think that I think when, you're going to do the same thing. My favorite thing about waffles that none of these other ones have. Is like the syrup goes in the little. It goes in the little in the little <laughs> indents, and you get a little extra in there. Well, if you put and then you put some blueberries on there, they just they just sit in the little. It's almost like a like a <laughs> breakfast gusher because you bite into it and it's, you, get, you get all the more. You get more. You go. And it's incredible. I mean, you get a nice fluffy waffle. I'm not talking about it. egos here. We're talking about the yeah, waffles yeah. like in the picture. That's yeah. a waffle. I mean, fucking egos are delicious, though. Yeah, but <laughs> it's not the same. It's like, if I same. think egos, I might want to pick waffles. When when you're we so, used to. Crazy. Remember when we were going through that phase where we were doing uh, squats every day? Mm-hmm. Those, that day. Good for the knees? Yeah, it was great for the knees. But I would have. Great. Egos. Every, I would have four egos every morning. And that was my pre-workout. Easy. I would, and I don't even, I don't do don't do it all up like this. I'll just get a little cup and I'll put the the syrup in there, Dip and then it. and I just go I go taco that thing, and you go for the scoop. What about some what about some French toast sticks? I was thinking that Ooh. we're talking French toast sticks are just way better than French toast. Oh, I, don't I don't know about that. To me, it is. But French toast sticks are really good. French They're toast like, is delicious. French toast is delicious. I'm benching pancakes. I'm cutting. French toast, unfortunately. Mm-hmm. I know. That's Bro- what I said. I said when yeah. I when I had to cut waffles, like unfortunately, like, this is growing so up, like young when I was younger, like growing up, I, I definitely would have started waffles. I'm more of a pancakes guy pancakes now, though. I go. think the waffles are like thick, kind of heavy, cutting through them, eating them. Especially when you go to like a breakfast place. Yeah, they're they're a little like, too thick. The pancakes are pancakes. nice and soft, oh. soft stack of hotcakes. <laughs> Just coming out like butter. What did you say? I don't even know. I butchered that so bad. I don't even know the actual line. He yeah, says I don't it know. so well. Uh, so I'm starting pancakes, benching, waffles, and cutting. I'm not a big French toast guy. I do like I like French toast sticks Good. better than French. They toast. They, 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 they toast. No, French they toast taste. French toast sticks is like just totally pure different. Sugar. Yeah, that's good. It tastes good. Okay. You could, but you could ma- like cin- You can make cinnamon French toast, and it is incredible. That's you what I mean. That's what the French toast stick, uh, the French toast sticks he's thinking of are like cinnamon sugar, just like coated in cinnamon. But that's sugar. the frozen stuff. You got to make it homemade. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. You got to get some sourdough bread. Get that that fat bread, and it's you know what real I saw, nice. You know what I saw? I saw on Instagram. You always see food on Instagram. I saw like the Hawaiian rolls, like the people used Ooh. Hawaiian rolls to make French toast. Ooh, that's such a good idea. I had some oh. crazy pancakes not that long ago. It was like. Oreo cookie pancakes. I don't know. There was buttermilk. Um, they have some crazy. No, ones it was honey berry or something like that. Oh, okay. Wow. Just sugar overload, but it was oh, yeah. fucking good. So I I good. went to a place where one of the options for the sides, you know, it's like toaster pancakes. Waffles was an option. Oh. And I was like, oh, give me some waffles, and it was like four mini waffles, mm. and I was like, and they were fluffy like this, and I said that was a great decision. I, I always get cap- bacon right as the side, except when I got those crazy pancakes, they gave me like three pieces of bacon for like twelve bucks, and I was pretty pissed about that. This is controversial. And they weren't that tasty. This is controversial. Um, I don't think there's a food out there better than breakfast sausage. I think that it. <laughs> blows- I like bacon better, but I do like breakfast, breakfast sausage. It blows bacon out of the water. Like, out of the water. 
think it breakfast on sides are very good because bacon's a side. Breakfast I think sausage would you consider a side? Yeah, breakfast get, is just it. And then hash browns you consider a side yep. too, and they're there's fucking so, many so good. Time, there's so many different ways you could do hash browns, and there's different ways you could do sausage. You could pigs in a blanket with the pancakes. It's just, this is unbelievable. Like a sausage I want to go have breakfast. Right That's right what I want. Breakfast for dinner. I want breakfast forever, forever so and good. ever. I'm gonna start doing. How, that. How's it? How's it? Uh, how how do you handle breakfast with your uh, self-diagnosed IBS? <laughs> uh, I eat it and go home. Okay. Or if I'm at home, that's when I kind of go wild. That's what the oatmeal is <laughs> for. It really get me going in the morning. Today was a rough one because I was – my body was – because I've been held up for two days, as we discussed in the other video, um, I, like, I was making breakfast, and it really just – it surprised me. It was like, we're going. And I was like, oh, this is early. Okay. This is real early today. All right. Well, okay. We were talking about the break. We were talking about sugar a little bit, so we're gonna keep going on with that. We're gonna talk about our favorite candies oh. here. Uh, we got Starburst, or Starburst <laughs> Skittles, and Tide Pods. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> I think I'm gonna. You're gonna start Tide Pods. Tide Pods. They got multi-purpose, right? They could you could eat them, and you also could wash your clothes. That's, you can't do that with the other one. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm gonna go. Do uh, it. <laughs> all right. Fine. We'll do it. Ooh, Starburst and Skittles. That's a no. What are you starting? Uh, it's just normal Skittles, not sour Skittles. It's just Skittles. All they, Skittles they all, they all and all them. Starburst. Oh, I'm gonna go Skittles. I'm gonna start Skittles then because those damn sour Skittles are something else. I think there's crack cocaine. Well, it came. There was like something last year. It came out that Skittles are just extremely bad for you or something like. I don't, I don't care. Yeah, I don't, I don't care. We're going to do it. And then we're going yeah, to bench Starburst <laughs> and cut the Tide Pods. I'm cutting Tide Pods as well, even though I do use them. Uh, we're all in the same boat on this one. I was, no, we're not. I'm a Starburst guy. Oh, Starburst. you are a Starburst I, guy. What color is your favorite? This is where it's going to get dicey. Yellow. Yellow. Yellow is my any But type you of, hate the color yellow. I know, but I like lemon. Anything lemon. Lemon's good. My my aunt will just eat lemon. Just straight it's up. It's so bad for your teeth. Lemon. She or, loves it. She her just, teeth bad? No, not really. How's she doing that? Brush, brush, Anybody brush. that I know that like eats lemons, like their teeth are just terrible. I don't know. I, I lemon, think the I red one's the best. Red, then pink, then yellow, then orange. If they can just get rid of the orange, I'd be fine. The orange is good. Anytime this is this is how I like I try to pretend I'm a nice guy. Uh when I crack open some Starburst, every like if you open up a pack of Starburst or any candy in front of every anybody, they always kinda look like, Are you gonna offer me one? So I was like, "Oh, here you go," and I'll give him the orange one. She's like, "Act like uh, orange nice one." Guy. My second favorite. I might go red, orange, pink, yellow. Oh, what about no. the uh, maybe pink? Then what about like those different versions of Starburst? They're like not very good. Not good at all. No. Yeah, they kind of taste like medicine a little bit. Yeah. Every every like weird version of Starburst. There's always same like with, one that's good. Kind of the same thing with Skittles. Like the they come out with different ones. Oh too. no, I like I like the the, okay. the originals, the red bag. There's the purple, the purple bag. I don't know what's in there, but it's really good. It's like a dark purple. I think the purple bag solid, but there's like a blue bag, isn't there? Like a light blue. I don't bag. know if it's I've ever had that. And the sour skittles are better. Sour than skittles all. are just the best. Tide pods got like a little hint of uh, like happiness, kind of. <laughs> so, <laughs> I've never had a tide pod. Um, if you had Mike and Ike's up here, that would be number one for me. I guess I'm a. Are, we could have done Mike and Ike's over, over chocolate candy. I, maybe I am because I think my favorite candy would have to be if we're not talking Tide Pods would have to be Skittles, Starburst, over anything else. Yeah. The only chocolate candy that I'm really a sucker for is peanut M and M's. Yeah, are, gonna, yeah, that's that's good too. Those are delicious. And you know how we talked about those little tube the of tube, M&Ms? Yeah, yeah. I saw they made a bigger one of Tide Pods. No. <laughs> no. You brought Get, this up before, I thought. No, I I brought up that they should make bigger ones. Oh, but they and made I literally it. saw it, it in the wild. It up? No, I was at the gas station and I saw I was like, "What? They make these?" And I was going to get a long one. one. It was probably like yay high. But it was wider. Yeah, it was thick too. I was like, "This thing, I could drink this thing in a, a second. lot of girth. A lot of girth to mm. it. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> you like girth? Yeah. Okay. Why are you co-signing every day? <laughs> yeah. Mm. Mm-hmm. Stop Stop hype manning me. <laughs> We're just in an agreement, okay? All in agreement. We're not, though. Skittles are We're the best. Not. We're all in agreement. Skittles are the best. What other start bench cuts could we do? The only thing about Skittles that I have a problem with is that 
I don't know why I don't have this issue with Starburst. You'd think it'd be the same. If I eat a lot of Skittles, my jaw starts hurting. They're really tacky. Not my jaw, my tongue. Y- your tongue starts what? My tongue just gets like rough and and red and ready. <laughs> yeah, rough and rough ready. And ready. <laughs> For what? <laughs> <laughs> gets no, it gets like sensitive. Like the taste buds get sensitive, right? Because that, that sh- I'm saying the sour skittles, especially oh. like the, the sugar. Okay. Yeah. I think the worst thing about eating candy is like it's so good in the moment, and then you yeah, go afterwards when you brush your teeth, yeah, and then you spit out. You're just like, that's so dark. What is that? Yeah. And it's just, it just makes me feel so disgusting. It's not gonna stop me from eating candy. No. Ever. I'm gonna eat candy forever, with my breakfast. With my <laughs> forever, with your breakfast for every meal. Yeah, like that. Do you bre- switch it up though, or is it the same candy? Oh, I switch it up. I see how I'm feeling. So Tide Pods sometimes make make their way in the rotation. Tide Pods is really good for like travel because it's in like that container. Yeah, you can just put that thing right in the center console, and you just kind of <laughs> that twist top, and you can just pop them in like it's candy, dude. There you go, hat. And it's it's literally a gusher. Yeah, it's like it has three different flavors, and it's a gusher. Why Gusher hasn't made a Tide Pod is beyond me. <laughs> yeah, they're behind. I don't a know Tide Pod? I like how you said that. <laughs> Best Buy. Best Buy? Tide, Tide Pod? Tide Pod? <laughs> it's like a question almost. Oh, my God. Why are Tide Pods up here? Best Buy. Circuit City. Circuit, Circuit City. Or Radio Shack. Or, oh, that's my just, God. That's easy. too easy. I miss the days where you go into a Best Buy and you just like play the games that they have set up. Yeah. And you hate the game. You have no idea what the game is. And you sit there and you actually get upset about it. Like you are going to be able to come back and resume whatever yeah. level they're on. Or or you find, you go to Best Buy and there's – like say I got there first, I would be a problem to myself, but I hate the person that just stays on those games. It's like, hey, let everyone play. Or but somebody's like standing behind you watching you. Oh, I just stay there. I won't move. I don't. I don't start ripping ass. I do not. Oh no! What? I don't <laughs> even turn my head though. I'm just like I gotta pretend I don't see him, even though I definitely see him, and he sees me see him. Start raging at whatever you're playing. <laughs> you can't. Fuck. You can't throw the controller. It's really locked in there. Yeah. Smart. Smart on them. That's a good idea. Yeah. Somebody would. You think it's so? Somebody doesn't steal it, or somebody doesn't throw it. Uh huh. Definitely the throw. <laughs> Okay. You could have that thing just kind of uh, just wired out, and then you can't really take it, but that, you can still throw that thing. Yeah. They really lock you in with that little uh, – You don't know, it's like a stick? like Yeah, a, yeah it's kind of know. ribbed. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know what that thing is. Maybe a little bit of curve to it. A lot of curve to a it. A lot of curve? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. <laughs> I think we could just talk about nonsense forever. Uh, all right, what else do we got? Um – Start bench cut McDonald's, Burger King, Taco Bell. Why not Wendy's? Yeah, what? I thought you were going Wendy's. All right, Wendy's fine. Well, starting when? Well, actually, I'm starting if Burger King has the chicken fries. I might think <laughs> Ooh, about. It. Chicken, what about breakfast? I'm a chicken. What about breakfast? Oh, it's true. PM going McDonald's. Yeah, what about McDonald's. breakfast? The best meal of the day. Honestly, <laughs> we're just talking about lunch and dinner. Like McDonald's might be last, but you factor in breakfast and it's, it's first. first. Yeah. You start it. Yep. I think uh, you start McDonald's, yep. and I'm gonna bench Wendy's. Yeah. Wendy's has some pretty good fries. Those chicken got, fries are really. Actually, no, I think they probably have the best burger out of all the. Uh, all the spicy the nuggets are fucking the nuggets phenomenal. Are good. I might actually start Wendy's just because of those. I just thought of those. Do you, di- do you dip your fries in the frosty? Are you one of those no. weirdos? No. I've done it before, but I decided I was a weirdo, so I yeah, don't didn't a, do it anymore. It's a weird move. I mean, it's not bad, but it's like, well, I mean, I don't think it makes it better. Ketchup. Ketchup's the way to go. I'm not a ketchup guy. Oh, I, I soak mm-hmm. that. I soak them. No, I seen you. You get you get a like when we go out, you get I get a good just a bunch of those oh, yeah. ketchup. But this is my my uh thought process with ketchup. When we go out and say like you gotta go up, order your food, then you go wait it and they get it, then you go sit down. I'm not once I sit down, I'm not getting back up. So I'm gonna grab all the ketchups. I'm gonna pump that thing, get as many as I can in pump there. Pump it up. There's nothing more pump upsetting than up. a pump that's just not really quite working right. Mm. And you're just like, This sucks. Can they? Can someone get on this? Get on this. But um, what about when the the drink thing, like the machine, does it doesn't have ice? Like it runs out of ice. Oh, how do you run out of ice? I don't know. How do you? I don't it get happens. it. I went. What to about? A, oh, go ahead. I went to a place and got and I 
went to get the water. Like it was just a, not. It was not water. Yeah, you almost have to let it run a little. Yeah, bit. let it run a little bit because <laughs> it's always like whatever it's connected to, like that comes out first. Brisk. Yeah, brisk <laughs> comes out first. <laughs> Does anyone drink brisk? Anyone? Does anyone drink I've it? I've had it before. I've had it before. Yeah, so. but do you, uh, it's not great though. I don't know anyone who regularly drinks brisk. Brisk. Yeah, I'm a huge brisk. Yeah, guy. I'm a huge brisk guy. Brisk Love it. it. What about, what about RC Cola? I don't know anyone who really drinks yeah, that. That's still a thing. Yeah, I see it out there. I was in Nashville and uh, went to Martin's Barbecue, really good place if anyone's down there. And they have like, uh, when you go order, like they have like, like the glass bottles of like different, like it's like almost old Ooh. school. There was RC in there though. It was like RC in the glass bottle. So you grabbed it and you smashed it <laughs> yeah, right there. Yeah. He said this stuff sucks. Yeah. Uh, I was gonna say, start bench cut, Portillos. <laughs> Bona. Don't say Beef Shack. Or Beef Shack. It's all it's Chicago fair. things, right? It's not, fair. it's not fair, though. Not fair. Portillo's Why Bona. Why is it not fair? Because it's a clear winner. Beef Shack. What is? Beef Shack is the is incredible. Oh, it is incredible, but. But. but the other places have Portillo's more variety. Has more, oh, Bona has a lot of options, too. Yeah. Portillo's, but, Portillo's has the best fries. That's true. We're in agreement that's there. That's true. Porto, I, or beef Shack has the best beef. Portillo's has yep. the best hot dogs. We're talking about beef here. We're talking about just places. Oh, the place oh, in general. Yeah, yeah, places. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. That's a tough. That's a tough one. Start Portillo's bench beef shack cut bone of beef. Ooh, that's tough though, because Bona has a lot but of the, options. But the too. catering from Bona. Bona's Am I got, counting that? Yeah, Bona's got mm-hmm. pizza. If you're feeling it. Mm-hmm. Like no one ever offers that. That cater. That when we got that's it catered, that chicken was nuts. These are all only Chicago places. I'm pretty sure. I mean. If you come to Chicago, you better go to Portillo's. Yeah, it's just, go there. I think I'm gonna start Portillo's just because it's just. I mean, there's so many options. The fries are so good. I'm a huge fry guy. The shakes, guy. The shakes are good. And wild card, Portillo's actually serves beer. They do. You wouldn't know that. It's at a whole different counter. <laughs> a whole different counter. That's I went to tough. Portillo's on the Fourth of July. Did you? Yeah. I mean, that's a good place. That's like that's the that's like your traditional. Like grill, barbecue. It's not like barbecue. But I like the like vibe in there. The vibe. You got I, the vibe. Feel, Old school. I feel like I'm in the movie Grease. That's what it, I feel like every time. There is one I went in. There's just like park benches. I was like, what? where am I? There's a little, little street. What year is this? Yeah, it's a time machine. Every time you go in, that might. that's why it's the starts because it's the ambiance. The time machine. It is Those kind of places that you step into and you just feel like you just stepped into a time machine is crazy. Like it makes Portillo's. me feel like I wish I was a child. They have the that. doors, so like the revolt. What is yeah, that what you call them? Like the, the spinning doors. Like got that's it. the time machine, and then you get yeah. in there, and you're like, whoa! whoa. <laughs> you got to go around a few times, though. Yeah, I I wish I was a kid during the hey, let's meet at the diner at sundown. Like we don't get, we never had that. Ride our bikes there. It's like yeah, let, we had the. I'm gonna call your home phone, see if you could play. That's, so that's how it was. And the at mom was, answers. At least, was, at least it was kind of cool, though. Can Pete come out and play, Miss <laughs> Mrs. R? Can he come out and play? I want to play baseball. <laughs> the best is when Pete then then Pete wouldn't be on the phone. She would just relay the message, and yeah. then Pete would meet me outside. Yeah, Pete, get the fuck outside. <laughs> the you phone. will play. <laughs> you will play. And you just hear Pete in the yeah, background. There's no, oh, yeah, there's no options there. It was just like you had to. Uh, I, I don't know. Kept them in it's, shape. Otherwise, would be a fat ass. It's, yeah, it's a great way to stay in shape. Um, now I still, kids don't I still go don't outside. Know, I still don't know what I'm going with. I think I would do the same thing. Is that what you – did you say? Tide Pots? Portillo's. Yeah. I said Portillo's. Go back to the home Portillo's, screen. I don't want to look at the candy anymore. Portillo's uh, Beef Shack Bona. Uh, I think that's yeah. what I'd go with, yep. too. I would actually. do that. Yeah. We're all in agreement. We're all in right. agreement. Do, do any of the other pla- – I know Portillo's doesn't, but does Bona have a garlic bread beef? That's a good question. So. Uh, Bona? I don't think so, no. Well, except Portillo's beef I don't even like. Beef Shack's beef is insane. I don't even like the Portillo's one. It's so good. It is good. Portillo's beef? Oh, my God, yeah. Yeah, I mean, go there for beef. Their burger is really good. I don't know if you had the burger. Mm-hmm. It's unbelievable, though. It actually might be the best burger. Like, I'm not even kidding. Uh, Who do they put in their shit? It's one know. of those, like, smash burger kind of things. Like, it catches you off guard juice. because you go to Portillo's and you're thinking, like, hot dogs. You're thinking beef. You're thinking uh, they they have, like, ribs. They got, like, a salad bar. But then all of a sudden you order the burger there because it's just, like, a common thing. And then it's like, oh, my God. Cake shake. Cake Cakes shake. for day. They cake got, for days. They got ribs there. 
I would have never expected that. <laughs> it's wild. That's a wild place. You know what I had? McRib. Uh, you had a McRib. No, two weeks ago. Bring that the back. I didn't even know this combination exists. I had uh, bacon-wrapped shrimp. Hmm. And I saw that on the menu. I said, I think I got to go with that. Got to try it. I, gotta, I mean, bacon anything is nice. You like it? It's it good. was incredible. Okay. I was upset that I didn't get more, honestly. I could have eaten that as a meal. I do like both those things, but I've never had them together. I've it. heard of it, though. Mm-hmm. Now that you said it, I'm like, yeah, I, I've heard of that. What about those Brazilian steakhouses? Oh, my God. God. <laughs> oh, my God. How does your IBS, self-diagnosed IBS, ha- Oh, hang boy. Up? Hold on. Uh, that's a that? lot of red meat. I went to uh, – we were out at some work thing, and then after that we all – my boss took us all there, and we're just like, oh, God. And then they just give you, like, the green card and the, the red yeah, card. Yeah. And I was like, oh, no, what does this mean? It was my first time ever. Yeah. It's, and um, then you got these people with these high, like, Was it Texas Day in Brazil? Uh, it was uh, Fogo de Chao. Oh, yeah, Fogo de and, Chao. And uh, top sirloin. Rosemont? Uh, no, it was Oakbrook, I think. It was Oakbrook. And they were just like, whew, whew, whew. Yep. Yes. Do you, they bring it around. They're like, mm-hmm. "Do you want this meat?" I'm like, "Yep." Yeah. She's like, "Yeah." Uh, you take yeah. it all. Yeah. You get oh, like yeah. you get like six different meats, and you flip the card over, and you just enjoy those meats, and then you take a little break, and then you flip it back to green, and you just keep going. You keep trucking. It's the smart move to get a little bit of everything off the bat. Yeah. Because then you know what you then like. you know what you want. Then, then you, you say, then "No, you, no, I'm waiting for this guy." And then you go for that bacon wrapped chicken. Oh. That comes around. The lemon pepper chicken's nice too. That's nice. Oh man. You only can go to those places like you can't go there like often. You're gonna be in trouble if you go there often. It's just it's just meat. You just yeah. Just you, so you go meat. once in a while because you know you're gonna gain fifty pounds yeah. if you go. You would get the I got the meat sweats. That's what I mean. Pork sweats. Yeah. Yeah. Pork pork is pork is real nice. I had a pork chop at the same place where I had. The, Did you get the pork sweats? The bacon wrapped shrimp. Yeah, bacon wrapped shrimp, and it was they. They, you know how they sometimes at restaurants they'll give you the whole spiel about like what, what they the got, specials are. yeah, all that kind of jazz. Uh, this waitress is giving me the whole rundown, and then she proceeds to say they have a world famous pork chop. You put that in front of anything, I got to figure this out. I, I want to know, and I try. It was it was top notch. Oh, and they come out with this huge loaf, and then he's just like, did you have to pinch a loaf after? I did. It was it was. Again, smooth, smooth like butter. Smooth like butter. Because of the squatty potty? Who do you think is still listening to this one right now? <laughs> if you're still listening, we let love us you. know. We love you. Just comment lemon pepper chicken if you're still listening, and we'll know. We'll know lemon the real ones. Lemon pepper chicken. We'll know the real ones. <laughs> we should start testing everybody. Yeah. We're comment. Gonna... We'll come up with something random. Yep. We'll do it during picks this year where there's a lot, actually a lot of people watching. and then. Uh, yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Yeah, me and Jacoby had a late night exchange on Twitter. That sounds... Well, good thing you added on Twitter. I think Twitter. he was hitting on me. You think? Yeah. He's good thing you added on Twitter. I was going to stop you there for a second. Like, we had a late night exchange. No, no, no. That kind of hit me. You said no, Twitter after. No, 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 no. <laughs> Jacoby's well, looking for a muscle mommy. Or a muscle daddy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. That's going to do it for start bench cut. It's a good one. We actually, there was more than just three. Cause you're we're so fast at, on your toes, man. Yeah. <laughs> Good thinking. Good, good thinking. Uh, uh, yeah, we have a whole playlist of start bench cuts. They're pretty wacky, just like this one with our weekly picks. Those are wacky, too. We got a lot of serious football stuff, and then we got some wacky stuff. I don't know. It's okay to be wacky sometimes. Yeah, you got to be wacky sometimes. That's going to do it. Thanks for watching. I got to piss. Goodbye. Can't wait for the season.